Now, Rob, this one may actually be easier for you because the cards are black and they have white numbers. So I'm taking a card that's black and there is a white number on it. In the blackness of your visual screen, sometimes this shows up very easily, Rob, because it's white against black. Be in the here and now, Rob, in this moment and send your mind sight out to the screen in front of you Allow it come back to yourself and report what this number is. It's one through nine, any one of those numbers. Uh, zero. I'm going to give you this because it's two zeros, one on top of the other. <laughs> because you were seeing zeros and that the eight is made of two zeros. So very good. So I have a dice in your screen and it has a color and a number, or you can say a pattern of dot or dots. In this case, don't tell me the color yet. Tell me the pattern or number of dot or dots. Pretend your beam is sweeping across the computer screen. Three. Okay, now, just like Claudia, what quite often happens when you're reporting a number? It's out by one, right? Yes. Tell me the number it really is. Four. Yes, it is four. Yeah. And over time, that will correct. That's a strange anomaly that the mind sight does. We don't know why. It could be yellow. Yes, it was yellow. Yes, it was. Very good. <laughs> More often than not, you give one number different, and usually it's one number less. Don't know why, but we will correct that over time, Rod. I have a yellow cup in your screen. This is just to get all your senses loosened up, Rob. I have inside the yellow cup a dice. You cannot see it by your screen because I'm showing you the face of the cup and the dice is inside. The camera does not look down in and see. All you see is a yellow cup on your screen, but you know there's a dice inside. What color is that dice inside? Use any or all of your senses. Just Blue. Say, I let go and I let my senses operate. What color is that dice <clears throat> rod? I said blue. Okay, I'm gonna turn it to the screen and sure enough, there is a blue dice. Very good, Rob. I'm keeping that tipped over so the camera sees the dice. How many dot or dots are on that dice showing in your screen in the here and the now, in this very moment, Rob? Two. Okay, try one more time. Four. Yes, it's four. Very good. That's a second time. <laughs> try. You got it. Very good. You can see that that's a neat thing that you're able to do. Even though you couldn't see the dice on your screen, you told me the correct color, Rob. This one is even more of a challenge, Rob. Your mind sight loves a challenge. I've seen this over and over again. It seems the more harder we make a task, the easier it is for the mind sight. It's crazy, but it's true. I have a yellow cup in your screen, Rob. Inside, there are two dice. So see the yellow, but also tell me the two colors of the two dice inside. It could be any two of the four colors, Rob. Red and green. And as I turn the cup into your camera, the first one is green, the second one is red. Very, very good, Rob. This was a very difficult task, but it was very simple and easy to do for your mind sight. I have the green dice on top and it's in the cup, it's facing the camera. It has a dot or dots on it, Rob. If your mind sight can tell me the two colors inside that were hidden, it can also tell me the dot or dots on the green dice that's visible. Allow your mind sight just totally relax and let go. No thinking, no expectations, no inner dialogue. Just report what is the dot or dots on that dice, the green dice in the here and the now. It shows me three. Yes, it is. Very good, Rob. 
It is a three, all three dots in a row. Very good, very good. I took the green dice off and it leaves the red dice that you correctly got earlier. And that dice is showing a dot or dots. This is showing in your screen. Have the intention that your mind sight corrected itself and it's giving you the correct number of dot or dots. As you look down into the cup on your screen, you see the red dice in the cup. And you see a dot or dots on the face of that red dice, Rob. You can see the white cup of the inside all the way around it. The outside is yellow, but now that you're looking into the cup, you see it as white on the inside, and there is a red dice at the bottom, and it has a dot or dots on it. What is that number? How many dot or dots? <clears throat> One. You are absolutely correct. Well done, Rob. Very good. I want to, to, to say a few words about that. Sure. First came two dots. And, well, I, I was waiting for... I was unsure and waiting, and then came only one that I, I had a doubt because of the two first, and more I was doubting, bigger the dot became. Wow, very good, And, and I, I could hear uh, as if <laughs> it, it, it said to me, see, only... Only a dot. Uh, a dot. <laughs> okay, very good, very good, very good. And I did accept it. <laughs> now, it's a playing card. Can you tell me if it is red or black? In the here and now, Rob, let go. And oh. what color appears, Rob? Red. Yes, it's red. Very good. Now, on to the next step. If you say red, it could be either diamonds or hearts. Look very carefully at the pattern of diamonds or hearts that are on this card. And if you look closely, you oh. see a difference. Yes, it's hearts. Very good. The eight of spades, the four of spades, the ten of spades. In your screen, I'm shuffling the cards. I'm going through them. You tell me when to stop. And I will grab that card that I have in my hand. Stop. Okay, so the card that is there is now in the screen. When you told me stop, that could be your mind sight urging you to tell me to use that card because it knows it can give it to you. It's either the four of spades, the eight of spades, or the 10 of spades. So Rob, look for a pattern or simply read the number in the corner. There's the number in the corner. Move your head around, always keep motion going. This is the card I want your mind sight to see. So have the intention your mind sight will see this on the screen and report to you. And let it happen, Rob. Just be a passive observer, allowing it to happen. Which of those three cards is it? The ten. Yes, it is. Very good, Rob. It is the ten of spades. And did you sense it? Did you see it? And if you saw it, did you see the 10 or did you see the pattern? When about to tell you uh, stop, I wanted, I, I, I demand <laughs> to be the 10. Uh, uh, I decided to, to tell you stop, to say to you stop when it would be the 10. And Good. then, of course, I wasn't sure, but I tested the, the three and the the strongest was the 10. Very good, Rob. I have four cards, Rob. They are the same number. They are five, and they're representing the four different suits, all with five. And I want to grab one. You tell me when to stop, and the one that we stop on is the one I'll put in the screen. This will be the last exercise. Stop. Okay. So it's one of those cards, Rob. They all are five, but it's one of four suits. Start by telling me the color. Red. Yes, it's red. <clears throat> diamonds. Yes, it is. It is the five of diamonds. Excellent, Rob. 